Hey everybody, this is vlog 18, I know it's been, been almost a week since I uh, last posted, uh, basically because I've been in a, been holed up in a cell, a uh, cell of my own creation, um, I've been really real heavy depressed and uh, and a lot of it was coming from the fact that I was, um, I had gotten a, a correspondence or a, a letter in the mail from the Disability Determination Services people and they had said they, they hadn't received some paperwork that I, that I, that I had to fill out. And at this point I'm dealing with, I'm not really dealing with them directly, I'm dealing with them indirectly through my attorney. And it was my, uh, and what I'm paying my attorney to do is to, you know, make sure things get there on time. And, uh, cause I had these particular, uh, forms and paperwork done uh, well ahead of schedule and, um, or well ahead of the due date. And then I was, I, I gave them in, in trust to my attorney to, do what they need to do with it and then send it off. Luckily, I finally got a confirmation yesterday that the letter and the other information crossed in the mail. So, in other words, the letter that I got was sent basically probably earlier in the day and then they received the um, the rest of my information you know that same day or something like that so it's just something I had to I had called my caseworker and I was like ah and he said everything was in and then to disregard the notice so yes so that took some serious weight off my shoulders um and then hey I got paid today hooray um did some work around the house, cleaning up the house, stuff like that. Um, and um, so I got a little, a little cash. Well, yeah, you know, my family is very supportive of my, of, of my my mental illness. So they're since I can't actually work um, I uh, get a very very small very small um, bit of money from my parents for doing chores around the house which doing chores around the house is extremely difficult anyway because of my condition um, I can't remember to do them no matter how many notes I write down on how many post-it notes and sticking them even to my sticking them even to my freaking forehead doesn't matter I still forget but um, <laughs> I think ever since I started working uh, there's this song by uh, ZZ Top and um, uh, it's it's um it kind of goes like I just got paid today got myself a pocket full of change and um and then the verses go on from there um talking about how how it's great to get paid and um for really no matter what you're doing as long as you're getting a little cheddar in there <laughs> um so that song always pops in my head whenever I get paid. Even back before I had this song, I mean, when I was get, even when I was like you know 15 working at the record shop, um, in in town here uh, during high school. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, I mean I'm a huge music geek, um, and uh, so you know I knew all sorts of types of music, but. But anyway, that, that one song always jumps in my head 
whenever I get paid for no matter what I'm doing it doesn't matter what it is you know even if it's something like um, you know here's here's a little bit of money to put some gas in your car you know that ZZ Top song just pops in my head that I know you just got paid today you know <laughs> I, I don't know why it's such a catchy little song so that's probably why um, so anyway so with that feeling good uh, I am though a bit anxious coming up uh, my parents have their annual uh, motorcycle trip that they take in October and um, excuse me um, and they uh, um, sorry distracted phone is ringing downstairs oh well the call back is important um, they uh, so yeah they go they go on this trip which is really great for them because especially for my dad because my dad works so hard and has to deal with so much that it's really great to see him get like a week or so off I mean that that's really nice um, because he, he 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 actually like chills out <laughs> and he's, he's not he's not so tense you know he's he's a little he's looser so that's good, but um, it's also a, a thing for me because I'm, a, I, I, I'm, I mean, I'm here in the house, and you know, I have some friends and whatnot that, that I have scheduled to come over and whatnot because I don't really terribly like being alone. Um, as much as I like to seclude myself, I know that sounds weird, but. I like to seclude myself, but then also have the knowledge of the fact that there are actually people outside my room. You know, there's other people in the house, you know, and, or if they're in the room with me, you know. So, you know, I have my friends come over and they'll, you know, it's helpful with my condition. I basically, I don't need to go any more, any much, any longer than two to three days. And if I don't see anybody or talk to anybody in that amount of time, I usually start, my symptoms really start kicking in. And, you know, I start talking to the walls, you know, start talking to things that aren't there. Um, so, um, that's a problem. So, I'm kind of worried about that, but at least at least with today I'm trying to take today and say that today's a good day because you know I got some stuff accomplished and and what have you the phone's ringing again Jesus ay 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 but anyway my neighbors I plan on heading over there um, uh, the I don't know I don't know what to call him uh, my sisters who are friends with our neighbor's uh, daughter um, we've kind of become like two families you know uh, at, le at least the girls have because they they hung out with each other so much, um, and I kind of you know get in on you know the claws of well I'm 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 their brother so, but anyway the um, my sister's my sister's friend her father he's he's a huge gearhead. Um, he actually has built his own hot rod, um, and he owns multiple other really nice cars, some classic cars, and some, uh, 
he actually owns a uh, a couple other really nice cars. I'm not going to say specifically what they are because you know that's their business, not your business. So, but anyway, he he's really cool, and I'm I'm a bit of a gearhead or petrol head or uh, whatever you want to call somebody who likes cars. So I could go over there and talk to him about cars for hours. Not only that, but he's a huge movie geek too, and I'm a huge movie geek myself. So you know, we can go over there and you know we end up talking about cars for a couple hours, and or we could sit down and watch a couple movies. You know, the only thing is the only thing really different differences that we have is is at least in things that we like doing are um, he doesn't drink which is crazy because he's he's like an he's a New York Italian man he, he's like you know you're, you're almost stereotypical you know kind of big um, uh, Italian mobster kind of you would think from the movies uh, looking kind of guy and he, he's got the New York accent in there and uh, of course it's kind of been it's it's been lightly brushed with a southern twinge to his voice but uh, he, he he's really he's a really great guy so he's kind of like you know my second father so to speak you know so so but Anyway, I figured I'd make a video, even if it was just me rambling on. Um, one thing that I was, one thing that, that I've seen in the news that, that's kind of sad is, um, is the whole uh, Lance Armstrong thing about him possibly that he actually really did was doping during his time when he was winning all those Tour de France's, which. You know, to me, I just kind of have to shake my head, and it's like, man, there really are no more heroes in this world. You know, <laughs> you know, who who are the people kids are supposed to look up to? Because all the people that kids are supposed to look up to, or even adults are supposed to, you know, look to, and you know, be like, oh, they're they're an, they set an example. These these people don't exist anymore. There's nobody. Because everybody seems to have some major flaw or discredit to themselves. So, it's unfortunate. I saw today he stepped down as being head chairman of the Livestrong uh, organization, which, I mean, that's almost like conceding defeat. I mean, it looks like he's basically conceding defeat anyway. Which is unfortunate. Um, but then again, if he did dope and whatnot, then the proper measures should be taking place to punish or to bring justice to, um, you know, to whoever did wrong. I mean, that's one of my highest values: is justice. Let justice be done. It's actually what this ring on my hand says. You can't see it, and there's no way you're going to be able to see it on the webcam. But um, it has an inscription on it. It's a Latin phrase from the philosopher Immanuel Kant. Um, it's Kant with a K. K-A-N-T. Look him up. He's a cool guy. Um, uh, he, he said, uh, fiat justitia et peritis mandus, and that basically means, uh, justice, though, uh, let there be, ju let justice be done, though the world, though the world perish. Um, so basically, you know, justice is the utmost highest form and the truth behind it and or rather the truth that 
the justice seeks. And that, you know, basically scorched earth policy almost. And yeah, some people may think that's a little radical, but I mean, I, I believe that, you know, if justice needs to be done. I mean, there's plenty of people in this world who have done terrible, horrible things, and justice has never been brought against them. And that is just wrong. And it tears me up inside. Uh, so, I actually got it as a, I can't remember as a, if it was a birthday or it was a Christmas gift. I, mean, I knew I knew I was gonna get it because I had to, you know, get my ring finger size. I had to pick out type of ring and the type of type, the the, the font that I wanted. Um, that and exactly what it says because mine actually doesn't have the et in there. It's just fiat, just just the I, I, I missed, messed up fiat. Just to steer paratimundus, and but it still means basically the same thing. All the et is is like a v or an and. Latin's an interesting language. You can you can actually take a take a Latin sentence because Latin has no syntax, and you can take the words and put them in almost any order you want, and it still means the same thing. Basically, nowadays, if you have a Latin phrase, it's just going to be whatever sounds, you know, whatever flows better. And that's usually how they determine syntax for Latin. And I know all this because I studied Latin when I was in high school. For an entire year, I took Latin. And I took the National Latin Exam and aced that mofo. Nobody think nobody thought I could do it. Actually, almost didn't want me to take the class because I had low English grades, so they figured that my foreign language skills would be even worse. But it turns out that I'm actually better with Latin than I am with English, <laughs> at least on the level that I was being taught of Latin. I'm sure some more advanced courses in Latin I wouldn't be able to take, but. At least when I was in high school, I I knew my Latin very well, um, which is one thing that actually helps me with um, with this mental issue. There's all these words and uh, drug names, uh, medication names, and stuff like that that I know how to pronounce and I know what they mean because of because they're they're all Latin. So people say Latin is a dead language, and I say bullshit <laughs> Latin may be a dead language to you because you don't know it but if you know Latin it's not dead now granted I don't speak it true it's not a spoken language anymore um, at least on a regular basis there's there's no culture that I believe in that I that I believe speaks it routinely outside of the Catholic the Roman Catholic Church I think there are certain, there's still some Catholic churches that actually have mass in Latin, uh, uh, but most of those are going by the wayside now because you know nobody knows Latin anymore, which is a shame because it's the root of basically every language, almost. So at least every just about every Anglo-Saxon language. Or is that Anglo... I don't remember. Whatever. Languages are crazy. Anyway, I'm almost getting ready to hit 20 minutes. Holy crap. Which makes this easily my longest video to date. So I'm going to stop because I know I'm just rambling about it. A bunch of random shit. So, uh, you guys be good. Uh, I'm, I'm still surviving. So, hope you guys out there are doing the same. See ya.